Welcome Apostle John Eckhart from Crusaders. Come on, give him a great big Calvary Lighthouse welcome. Man of God. Hallelujah. Well, you've clapped for me. Now put those hands together for Jesus tonight. Come on, do better for him than you did for me. Hallelujah. I feel the anointing. Lift your hands, will you please? Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Lirose no shabrasto gu mandiga deota ye nindo si pohaya masende alana sando horama eso yes for these are the days of glory and these are the days which men have contended for for generations and many have prayed and many have wept and many have fasted for these days and as you arrive in this generation in this time know that many have paved the way before you many have dug deep into the well and many have begun to cause the river to begin to flow once again and the lord says in this hour you shall begin to see the river flow in your life like never before and i shall cause my healing power and my prophetic river to flow inside of you and out of your belly will flow the rivers of living water says the lord for the lord said i brought you here not just for an impartation but for an activation and i I'll begin to release the hidden gifts inside of you and things that have been held back. Oh, get ready for now. There is an anointing to trigger, an anointing to activate, an anointing to release even the gifts that have been stirring on the inside of you. So the Lord said, do not be afraid, my people, but know that in this hour I caused an apostolic release that shall begin to cause your gifts to come forward and begin to flourish. And I begin to challenge the fear and the apprehension in the lives of many of my people. And I begin to break the traditions of religion uh, and even the spirits of witchcraft that have held back my church. Uh, and I begin to cause you to walk in a new level of faith, confidence, boldness, and assurance. Uh, and I shall open your mouth and put my word in your lips. Uh, and you shall declare my word to this generation. Yes, the word that comes out of your mouth shall be like a hammer, says the Lord, that even breaks the rocks in pieces. Uh, and I shall shatter the strongholds of the enemy. And I shall cause the the powers of hell to fall and I shall cause revival to break through and the prophets shall once again stand up and yes they shall prophesy thus saith the Lord and they shall do with boldness and with strength and the anointing shall be upon their words and the anointing shall be upon their lips and the anointing shall cause them to speak even in situations of darkness and when they speak light shall come says God it shall come in the midst of darkness and men shall see what they've never seen before and those that have been blind their eyes shall be opened and they'll see my glory and they'll see my power even in places where they've not seen it before so lift your hands tonight says the Lord and receive a new baptism of my spirit and a new release of my glory let it come upon you now and do not be afraid but step out even step out of the boat and begin to walk on the water yes I call you forth said the Lord I call you out of that secret place. I call you out of that place of fear. I call you out of that place where you've been hiding. And I say, step out the boat and begin to walk on the water. Oh yes, I call you forward tonight with my word. And as you respond, you'll know it is the voice of the Lord. You'll know my Lord is calling me. You know that I've heard the voice of God and no longer will I be afraid and no longer will I hide and no longer will I hold back. But I shall step out in my calling and my gifting. For many of you in this place, you've been called to a greater dimension. And oh, you looked at yourselves in a lower place. Uh, but I begin to open your eyes and call you to the higher gifting, says the Lord. And you'll no longer walk in the gifts that men have given you. But oh, you walk in my gift and my power, says the Lord. So know that I'm calling you up to a higher place. And I'm taking you to a deeper level, says the Lord. So get ready for release of my word comes to you tonight to shake you, 
from that place of fear and apprehension to loose you from the things that have held you back oh yes I cause my word to come forth to break you free from the limitations of your past and all the things that have held you back will hold you back no more says the Lord and the things you could not break free from shall no longer hold you back for says the Lord for I break the fetters off of your feet and I break the chains off of your hand and I take the blinders off of your eyes and I cause you to leap and walk and I cause you to minister again with your hands and I cause you to see what you've never seen before yes my word comes to loose you and to liberate you tonight and those that hear this word as you lift your hands oh I begin to liberate you into a new place of freedom into a new place of liberty into a new place of assurance and boldness and you'll walk in a different anointing for it's not by might and it's not by power but it's by my spirit and by my anointing that the yoke is destroyed it's by my word says God for many have tried to do it in their flesh and many have tried to do it through religion and tradition oh but this is not the work of a man this is the work of your God this is the work of the spirit of God and many have gone to and fro saying what meeting should I go to where can I go to receive that which God has for me but oh I bring people together in this place that I might release my word unto you and even take you to a place you've never been before so do not be afraid and do not draw back for what you could not do in your flesh I do by my grace says the Lord and what you could not do in your strength I do by my strength says the Lord oh so believe me for this hour is an hour of liberation and an hour of liberty and an hour of rejoicing and an hour of anointing and an hour of glory I release it now upon your life and I call you to walk into a new realm Oh, lift those hands and worship them. I feel the anointing in this place. And I just want to flow by the Holy Ghost tonight. Come on, let me hear those rivers flow out of your belly. It's inside of you, Rosabati. Oh, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Oh, oh God, we've been waiting for so long. Oh, and it was prophesied a hundred years ago. Oh, and when the word was given, many said, oh, that's a long time from now. I'll never see it. But oh, there's a generation that will see the glory of a God that was upon Azusa. They shall see it again in this hour, says the Lord. For the Lord said, I've not forgotten America. I've heard the cries of my people. I've heard the prayers of the intercessors. I've seen the groaning and the travailing. And many have said, oh, is God finished with America? But the Lord said, now I begin to release a new wave of my glory, a new wave of revival, a new wave of anointing, a new wave of the baptism of the Holy Ghost, a new wave of tongues, a new wave of prophecy, a new wave of preachers and teachers and apostles shall be raised up in this hour and they'll come forth out of the womb of prayer. being birthed from the womb of intercession oh I am and men shall once again speak under the anointing and men shall no longer just stand in the pulpit and give their opinion says the Lord oh they'll not speak their words but they'll speak as the oracle of God and men shall no longer walk in the flesh and stand in my holy pulpit says the Lord but I'll raise up men of the spirit and men who are not afraid to speak what thus saith the Lord and men will prophesy once again and speak and decree once again and there'll be a shaking in the land says the Lord and men shall once again feel the power of my word so get ready for a new breed it's coming forth says the Lord for many have said oh God where is the breed that I've been looking for where are the Pentecostal preachers where are the men full of the Holy Ghost but the Lord said oh no they're coming forth and they'll speak once again and when they open their mouths you will know it you'll know it's the anointing of God and you'll no longer struggle with whether it's God or not but you'll know that is the word of the Lord a new breed is coming forth. Come on, lift your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost if you believe that. Oh, come on, lift your hands. I feel the glory in this place. I feel the anointing of God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. 
Come on, lift your voice to him tonight. Oh, we're not just regular folk. We're Pentecostal spirit-filled people. We believe in the power of the Holy Ghost. We're not just folk coming to church. We're people that believe in the presence and the glory and the anointing of God. Oh, God, we thank you for your presence and for your glory. Hallelujah. says men who walked away from the spirit shall come back men who walked away from the anointing shall come back men who departed from the glory shall come back men who no longer pray and fast shall pray and fast again men that no longer prophesy shall prophesy again men that no longer operate in tongues shall bring forth the glory of tongues again and those that have been ashamed of my glory and ashamed of my presence and ashamed of my anointing oh they will repent and they'll come back with weeping and crying and say oh God I return to the glory I'm sorry Lord I left the glory but I come back to the glory the Lord said I'm calling you back to the glory I'm calling you back to the glory meetings I'm calling you back to the glory that you lost in times past says the Lord I bring a restoration of glory upon your life and upon your ministry and men and women shall once again minister in the glory and they shall once again move in the power and they shall once again move in the glory and you'll see miracles and healings and deliverances and yes demons will be cast out says the Lord for yes demons shall tremble in my glory and many shall be delivered and many miracles shall be released so God tonight we come back to the glory come on lift your hands and rededicate yourself tonight to the glory Oh, we rededicate our lives to you, oh God. Handle the bullshit. And men will sing again in the glory. They'll sing again in the spirit. They'll worship once again in the glory. They'll sing the songs of the Lord. It's coming back, it's coming back, says the Lord.